in order to get to the state of coherence fast. What we guys uh, came up with, and we did investigate that for the last 15 probably years or more. <coughs> what we wanted to find out, we wanted to get a set of tools for you. Get the uh, optimum set of tools. That's something that is cost efficient and can you give you the biggest impact on your health and bring you to the state of coherence in the fastest way possible. This little Star Trek healing machines, they are there, guys. They are, they are there. I mean, they're here. We'll show it to you, and you will experience this. It's not quite a Star Trek machine that can heal you in five minutes, but it pretty much can heal you to the extent that you want to and help you regenerate your body, no matter what. It may take a little time and a little more effort, but there are technologies that do it. We investigated it for a long time. We found a combination of three. Power three, triad, you name it. Don't know how it happened. We didn't plan on it. We just investigated separately. Dr. David in his field was working. I was working in my field. Um, each one of us discovered that one particular technology when we got together and blended them. That the effect was amazing. It was um, exponential uh, increase in efficiency. And when we found it, we want you all to know it, and we all want all, all, all you to have a benefit of it. And that's what we're here to learn today. So right now, without going any further into explanation of what each of the technologies means, we want to start working with that. And while we're working with that, we will give you explanation of what each of the technologies is, how it works, what are the benefits for you, but we want you to see it working right there. And because it takes a little time, so we want two volunteers from the group, uh, and what we are going to do now, it's called the coherent body treatment. So uh, the first thing we do anytime we work with people is we try to get an assessment. Now Ray, Ray's a meditator for 40 years, so this is going to be very interesting. So, because uh, he's, he's going on vacation tomorrow, if I go on vacation, anybody here kind of freak out those last minute things? And this guy's just kind of relaxed. You know? <laughs> but, but Ray, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being your energy is just pristine and your, your, uh, your uh, reserve is high. I would say seven. Okay, so your reserve is seven. Is there any place in your body where you feel a little discomfort? Um, I feel a little tightness in the back of my shoulder over here. Okay. Now, Ray shared with me before that he had an impact injury from a, was it a ski? Ski, uh, it was a skier. Yeah. Skier, okay. So, and, and tell me about that discomfort. Well, I, I feel some tightness and soreness back here. Um, which is, uh, it's, it's a lot better than it was. I've had different kinds of work done on it, but it's, it's still noticeable. Right? Okay, so on a scale of 10 being the most discomfort if you were having a baby, which we're not. Yeah. Right. Where, where is that? A I three, say, a four? I would say maybe a three. About a three. Okay. Oh, perfect. And any other place in your body where you feel tightness, any kind of stuff? Um, most of it's centered in that area, right? Because uh, the impact was in my back, and it went into my shoulder, and then it was in the front of my chest too a little bit. But most of it right now is just in, in my back and into my shoulder. Okay. The rest of me, um, I feel pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're taking someone at a high level, and we're going we're to see how it goes. So We yeah. should have picked somebody who flew all the way in from Ireland or something like that. <laughs> so, but that's okay. So that's what we're so the other thing I want you to take a look at is continence. Okay, look at the color of his skin. Uh, Ray, stand up for a second. Um, I want you to see where his shoulder is. If there's any dropping, you notice that this right shoulder's dropped just a little bit. Take a look at where he is here. And, and I want you to look at his inner smile, okay? All right? And really look so, so he gets embarrassed. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> So the first thing that we do, we call this a coherent body treatment. And now we're going to wrap him in the blanket, and we'll explain what that is. And this is the fun part. I get to hug him. So he's like a little blurry doll. All right, have a seat. Did you get this thing on the table? Yep. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take the uh, Q1000. It's a soft laser. It's a soft laser. And what we're going to do is put it on a mode which is 
very relaxing. And I'm going to do one more magic trick and that's put this on his C7. So what we have here, we have the laser on the heart chakra. We have one of the healing, Star Trek healing devices on C7 and another one on the tailbone. So that's, that's all we do. Uh, laser has a three minute cycle, so we will be kind of re re redoing cycles as three minute run, runs down. Okay, so that's um, uh, kind of the basic while the, it's being done. Uh, let's us quickly go through what exactly are we doing here. But what you probably will see here, one plus one plus one equals 111, right? So that's how we describe the synergistic effect of the three. The power of three. So it doesn't equal three, it equals 111 because each of these technologies enhance the other one. And together they form the whole that is now different than the sum of its parts. So we have uh, the summation and now the system works as a union. Um, we call it light, electricity and reflection for your perfection and protection. <laughs> <laughs> and we have light represented by the soft laser, we have electricity represented by the scanner, and we have reflection represented by the blanket. And what these three will do for you will protect you for the moment of healing and create a supportive cocoon environment and will create a reflective environment to give your body a feedback so it can reflect on itself, become aware of the problem, and fix it. See, all these technologies, the entire 21st century medicine chest, as we call them, or uh, another term for this triad is a healing fusion, we call it the healing fusion, is that they do not do anything to the body unless body wants to do that. They only align natural healing powers of the body and they can trigger them in a different way. They approach the he natural healing system of the body from different angles. And yet, they, all they do, they convince the body to start healing fast. So the body is healing. Technologies don't heal you. None of them can heal you. Only your body can do the job. And the technologies can help the body to do that in the different ways. So how do they do that? Well, and what they can do in optimum, let's say, uh, we will show you a couple extreme examples of what is possible with this fusion of the technologies. Here we have, um, I don't, yeah, it's not very light, but you probably still can see that. Anybody see a third degree burn before in person? It's so bad that literally the skin is hanging off. That's so this is a hand, but like this is a, this part of the hand. This is a, a person who um, works for a living as a waitress, and one of those wonderful coffee makers burned her, scalded her really bad. This was in Gilroy, California. Um, and she then went to the burn clinic in Stanford. And the burn clinic says, well, we got good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is, uh, you know, you're going to live, that kind of thing, right? Uh, the other thing is you get to choose what part of your rump we're going to now take out and make two skin grafts so you can be permanently disfigured and not have full use of your hand for the rest of your life. Oh, and by the way, it's only going to cost a quarter million dollars to do that, you know, and oh, you don't have insurance? No, honestly, this happened. That's okay, you can mortgage your house. Okay, that's where we're at. Now, the incredible thing was, she had a neighbor who had the healing fusion. It was a stay-at-home mom who has the G1000, who has the technology of the cosmonics. She had 715. She had the, the right. 715 and, 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 and the blanket. And she was so, she didn't even want to see, anybody, you know, this looks pretty gross. She didn't even want to see how bad this looked, because she's, you know, she's a mom. Like, oh, I don't want to see it. It's freaking me out, right? So she treated this person over the next six weeks, twice a week, through the bandage, so it wasn't even directly on the skin itself. That's and cool. with the scanner, it was on the other side. Not even on that side, it was on the other yeah, side. So it wasn't direct. So, so this was this horrible, horrible thing where it looked like the, the uh, skin was just going to lift off. Oh, well, you can't say it looks like elephant, basically, right. elephant flesh. And six weeks later, 12 treatments, 
this is what occurred. All natural healing. And here we have actually week by week. So that's what First was happening. First week, second week. Now, the funny thing is, she didn't even see the pictures. The person who worked with her didn't even see what it looked like until the end. Uh, and there's the third week, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now, what happened is a healing partnership was created. A person with the equipment loved her neighbor enough to say, hey, I want to help you, we're in a church, with the communion of this stuff. And guess what happened? That kind of healed. Now, if you were that client or that friend, I think you might be a little overjoyed not to be permanently disfigured for the rest of your life. And as a woman, how would that feel? I mean, you're not going to feel pretty good. All right, so well, just imagine if you, if you have a crippled arm, you don't even feel good about yourself anymore. Forget right. about even walking. She went back to the Stanford Medical Clinic. Do you think the doctor was happy? Wow, maybe I should learn about that. Or do you think he was maybe a little upset? Right? But doesn't, she didn't need skin grafts anymore. So. And what we were just, because they're lay people, um, it's, it's, it's like, whoa, I really thought my doctor would take more of an interest to this. And he didn't. There was no healing partnership there. The healing partnership was... Occurred with her neighbor. With, with the neighbor. And the prayers they gave, too. So. But the neighbor, guys, it, she wasn't a health practitioner, just a stay-at-home mom. So, non-health practitioner with the equipment can do more than the best burn clinic in the world. Now, another example, very interesting one. And if young guys uh, who follow the, um, uh, the, the kickboxing and stuff, yes. you know who Tim Silva is. So that's him. Uh, right after he got a bad blow in his left eye. And as you could see, that like closed. Close, the lights were off for Tim after that fight. Yeah. Right? He wasn't well, he was obviously he couldn't he couldn't continue. But one of the um, uh, it, it it happened um, when one of the uh, coaches, um, the sports performance coach who has our equipment, and uh, he has a little dog just like this. That, that's all. That's all he used for 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes. That's all it takes, 20 minutes. And it probably would take, what, I don't know, what, a couple of weeks. Yeah, we have a professional MMA. How long would that take before, before you could, after you got your kicks knocked out of you? When I had my orbital broken? Yeah, I yeah. My left orbital shattered. It took, uh, for my eye not to be black, like on the inside, about three weeks. Got it. Yeah, but that's what assessment, general assessment, like about three weeks. And he was in the, he, back into the fight next day. So. Very interesting case of, yeah, brown recluse spider bite. Anybody know traditional treatment for brown recluse spider bites? There isn't any. There are no there any. There isn't any. But luckily, this person who had this horrible brown recluse spider bite had a friend who had one of the original lasers over 12 years ago from Dr. Leiter, just called a resonator. You know, it was a whole 1300 bucks back then. Still got one for 1300 bucks. And started treating him. And this, look what happened in the next week. So that was in dynamics. So then that started shifting. One more time. You see that now the hair coming back, that's about the, I think it was about the fourth and fifth. And he is a chef. He's a chef. He's back to work. Everything's cool. Hair, so hair grew back completely. Now, Nothing fell out. The in this case was, can I borrow, and not even borrow it, hey, borrow this, and this is how you use it, and this is how you can treat yourself. Cool healing partnership on that one. So. Okay, and now uh, here we have um, actually... Uh, the, also the same body treatment done over the phone. <laughs> so that was an interesting one. <laughs> a lady called Dr. David. She was the, totally like crying on the phone. She was totally out of sorts. Totally. Did you ever have someone on the phone and you just want to slap them? Like, shut up! Right? And I realized I couldn't do that even though I would love to do that. You know, you can see how I get revved up, right? So I just said, hey, uh, and she can, we can say her name. Bonnie! 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 Stop! Okay. 
go, please, put the blanket around you. Take your C dot, put it on your C set. Oh, I know where that is. Take your laser, put it on your thymus, put it on the heart, okay? And call me in 20 minutes. And then if you can, in her case, she's freaking out about money. Uh, to, to, to the extent she had rushes all over yeah, her body. She had, she had rushes all over. You know, just just amazing. In fact, at the, her uh, yeah body rash was an eight. <laughs> She's like all over, and just freaking out. And somebody else called me 25 minutes later. I don't know who that person was, but her name was the same. <laughs> and what happened by that self treatment? Her stress went from a nine to a low three. Anybody here want to name that? Yeah. All right. Pain and neckness in the shoulder. She's a massage therapist. Awesome one. You know, nobody gets that. You know, nine to a three to a four. Wrist pain. She didn't even talk about it. We didn't even work on that. Four, just a little bit down to three. But her body rash has significantly decreased. And this is the fun part, because she was just not only freaking, had no energy. Her energy at a scale of one to ten, she felt was a three, now was a seven. But, but we asked the Bonnie, what are you feeling? Hopeless, desperate, depressed. Sometimes I get that way. Well, we all do. Right? And at the end, centered, positive, hopeful. Was that a 20 minute miracle? Seeing light in the end of the tunnel. Yeah, was that a 20 minute miracle? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's what, what and got. after that, we call this protocol, it's actually coherent body treatment, we call it a 20 minute miracle. So. <laughs> and, and this guy's cooked. I think he's ready. So. Okay, well, let's see. Right? And what's fun about Ray? Now, Ray, what are you feeling energy-wise? Uh, I feel a lot more energy. Um, okay, from seven to? I'd say at least nine. Okay, okay. now, now Good. With energy, I want you to get into that, Ray. Just get into your, into your body, all right? And how did the reserve change? How did that tank fill up? Just felt all over. Right. Okay. Or expanded. Okay. Anyone can oh, see aura, yeah. guys. If you can see auras, yeah. you'll probably. He's now out here. You know, before he was there. Actually, he's out here. Yeah. You're out there. Right? Yeah. I can feel it. Yeah. Discomfort, tightness in neck and shoulders. Uh, it's definitely less. I mean, I. I you had three. I had three. I would say it's maybe a one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere between a half. Okay, well, now, now we got an interesting thing here, Ray. How many months have you had this injury? Um, it happened uh, in, in uh, the middle of February. In that time, have you ever been a one? No. No, mm -hmm. no. So we just happened to do it here. Yeah, in, yeah, in a 20 minute miracle. Yeah, and I've had a lot of massage and other things. And, and the massage really helped the first few times, but then we got to a point where it plateaued. We plateaued. And, and uh, so that was a little frustrating. Inner smile. Mm -hmm. Subjective, huh? What, what is it? All right, he, he's, he's smiling on the inside and out, isn't he? And this is kind of difficult to quantify. Right? But it's just a cool, it's quality. I know I need one of these right now. <laughs> Excuse me while I go in the back room, right? So, but now, you know, of course when you're heated up by having that, but now he's, he's, he's you know, he's less cool, less hot. But look at the change in the energy in the face. What, what's going on there? Quantify it, Paul. What's going on? Doc, you're, you're a professional profiler here. <laughs> he looks awake. <laughs> yeah, I was a little tired. Too. Looks awake. <laughs> what do you think? You're a chiropractor? What's going on? I'm not a chiropractor, but... Oh! Uh, he looks brighter. Yeah. Brighter, like a shiny penny, huh? So... Shoulders, how does that change? Notice that they're really even? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? It's almost like, you know, he, he, he was tilted and then clicked up. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's, that's not bad. So, so Ray, we, we never talked about that. Massage cost how much? Um, it's Boulder, it's cheap. It's cheaper here than anywhere else on the planet, I think. Really? Yeah, it's lot, supply and demand, lots of supply. Well, it was, it was $95 a session. Okay. So, and you're feeling better than a normal session of massage? Um, yeah. So, would you trade $95 to have that feeling once a week or every two weeks? Definitely. Yeah. 
Cool. Now, did you see what I did? Would you trade some money to have that new state, that new feeling? So what do we have now? We have a lay person who now can actually create a income stream by having their friends come over feel a lot better. Or uh, creating not a partnership. Dr. David actually didn't do anything. All he did is to stick the machine on the body, right? He didn't touch Ray, literally. So, non-healthcare pr practitioner can do that? Absolutely. Clients can put device on their body themselves. You just tell me, well, tailbone, C7, wrap themselves in blanket, keep the laser. There is no conflict here in any way, shape, or form, anywhere. Okay, um, uh, while we, uh, I think Ruth still needs a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, we want to, someone else, guys, want the healing miracle? 20 minute miracle? Going once. Great. Going once. Okay, so what's yes. the what's the energy level? Um, uh, the, the watch, which, uh, can you take the just so it's not wrapped in the blanket, it's energy. There we go. It's a little burrito time. Okay, have a seat. Yeah. A little more room. There. So, C7, tailbone. Laser on the heart chakra, right? Is there a different, or what sort of difference do you feel if you only have one scanner versus the two that you replace it? Um, it will take longer time. Okay. It, it's not going to be 20 minutes. But, and you have to move it from one area to the other area. In a demonstration, because I have two, it's, yeah. it's powerful, it's great. Uh, and, and most of the time, we just have one, it's great. So it just takes a little longer. So, but really what we're doing is going to what we call dose, and we'll explain what the dose is in a little bit. Yep. Uh, rate dose at least three times. Just remember three times. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, while uh, we are still proceeding, so you, do you want to... Uh, Scale of one to ten for energy. About a three. About a three. Okay, and, energy. And, and your energy, how much reserve do you have underneath that? Come, takes a day or two to come back, but probably about a, a three. Or okay, okay. I wanted to just skip a little. Other discomforts in the body. Um, other than that, I generally feel pretty good. We're sitting here. Right now. Okay. Um, I've got a, it's a shoulder problem, but I don't really feel. Like which, which side is the shoulder? Left. Okay, so left shoulder. How how oh, what's the level? He said he doesn't okay. really feel it right now, so mm -hmm. I, I, maybe a two. Two probably. Yeah, most likely. I'm gonna put words in your mouth. Give, give me four. Oh, oh, okay. Let's roll for four. We'll right. give you four. Let's go for an eight. We are generous. <laughs> Other health issues going on? You know, I uh, quit drinking coffee. Ooh. And that, I did that probably about eight weeks ago, and uh, it just takes me a long time to get my daily energy up to where it should be. Okay, so stimulant was the way that we popped the adrenals. And Which we now, usually do. And now we'll be able to work on that. All right, so so cool. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. Okay, cool. I got it. I'm going to ask a personal one. Yes. If, if, and, and this is actually true. Hair growth, would that be a cool thing or no? It's not, not an issue. Just more to try. Oh, okay. 